Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Fabulites. I got a couple questions for you at least. What opens with a visit with Ernest locked in the grave? Because he's made his transition. And what closes with by doing a family lock in? Y'all ain't going nowhere. If you guess Queen Sugar, season two, episode six, line of our elders, you are correct. If you would like to um, hang out for my review, please do. I'm Angela and the channel is Be Fabulous. You welcome and welcome back. So we got Ra and Nova. And Nova, they're at the, um, I think that what's happening is that they are installing the, or the, the headstone has been installed. But it seemed like there was a long list of stuff in his name at the bottom. So was it like a line, all of the ancestors that they know of their name? I didn't understand. But anyway, um, so we see Nova. She says she's taking a picture to send to Shar. And Ra is like, if Shar wanted to be here, she'd have made the time. And Nova is like, either she said, my sister's making history today or our sister's making history today. Maybe she just said, sister's making history today. Okay. So then um, we see um, Shar and Micah at the Queen Sugar Mill. So that's the history that's being made. The mill is being opened. Yay! And then we see Nova at Rise and she's looking for something. And somehow there's this mystery check um, that's connected with Ancestor Daddy Ernest. The refrigerator is broken and um, Ralph Angel is like, well, I don't care where the check came from, but it costs six it, Six hundred dollars is a good. That's gonna get us a new fridge. Yay! Get me a new fridge. Whatever. Get the house a new fridge. Um, so then we see Darla escorting a man in her. She's in her administrative assistant role at the Queen Sugar Mill. She's escorting a man into the office with Charlie. And when Charlie sees the man, she looks a little surprised, disappointed, taken aback. And she's like, oh, you're, where's Adam? You're not Adam. You know, he did a story on Davis. We have a rapport. We have a shorthand. And he's like, no, I'm not Adam, but I'm good. I can't remember his name. We're going to call him not Adam. Um, I'm not Adam, but I'm good. He's just a reporter. Um, so uh, let's, they sit down. So he basically is going to spend the day um, covering the Queen Sugar Mill opening. So they sit down and, you know, the reporter is like, so uh, this is not L.A. Why you flee to Louisiana? I remember one time I was supposed to be going to Long Beach, to L.A., to, well, to Long Beach. Um, and um, we, we got, we, we couldn't go. The We were on standby one of my husband's friends work for the air, for airline and we were getting buddy passes but whatever we ended up spending time in louisiana but i always thought la louisiana and it was you know new orleans is fun too but i've never been to long beach so i was trying to get to that uh vegan soul over there in long beach because i've been to all the vegan souls i think in the country dc chicago um dang Atlanta, I don't know, but anyway, I've been to I've been to them three, maybe one other I can't remember. Um, so he's like, "This is not L.A. Why the, why flee to Louisiana to the country? You know, this ain't shoot." And somebody has said, "Well, the houses in Louisiana are just as nice as the ones in L.A." I'm like, "Louisiana ain't no Los Angeles. I don't care what the house." But anyway. Um, and then um, she says, um, you know, well, I'm honoring my father's legacy. This is blah, 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 blah. And he's like, you know, your dad's death coincided with a sex crime. Um, so is that the causation? Where's Davis at? He ain't here for the opening of the meal. What's really going on? And she's like, oh, he's in Miami in an appearance. And the reporter's like, well, it's shame for him to have missed um, something so important with all the work put in. So she's very smooth. Um, you know, she's used to dealing with, um, you know, reporters. She's she's smooth under pressure, even though you can tell, especially as the day goes on, that she is he getting on her nerves and he's stressing her out and she's already stressed out. So. And then we see Vi and Wood, and Wood has done some kind of grocery run for Vi. I don't know if she finished making pies or whatever. Um, and they had this cute little banter, like, did you get everything? When's the last time I went to the store and I didn't get everything? I got the bag. I got the bag. I got the bag. Did you get the bag? I got the bag. You know, whatever. It's cute. Um, 
and something um she says um vi says well i'm not going to the cemetery and um wood is like well you got to pay your respects and she like i buried Ernest once it's no need to bury him twice so i thought that was interesting okay so then we see nova and she's in a woman's office oh earlier when nova was when the whole refrigerator thing when they were talking about the check or nova was back in um in the office at at um ralph angel's place or at the farm whatever looking for something we all thought i thought did you think that nova was about to find that document that her daddy wrote saying i want to get a farm just to my son i the girls y'all got your own thing do your own thing whatever but the farm is for my son um but no she didn't find it okay so then we see nova she's in a woman's office she's sitting on one side of the desk the woman is behind her desk and um, the woman is like, well, we didn't know what to think when Ernest stopped showing up. He um, he didn't have much in his locker. And she pushes a box across the desk. And, um, you know, Nova is like, well, what did he do here? And um, the woman is like, he was a custodian. And we see Nova pulling blue gloves out of a box. And then the picture, and I guess it's blue, blue and blue. And she looks confused. At first, we were thinking, well, maybe that's, is it another baby? But I'm like, when I look back at it, I'm like, that boy looked just like baby blue. And was it just, I read someplace that the only two things he had in his locker were the gloves and the picture of blue. But anyway, she looks confused. Um, and that's the end of that scene. Then we see the interview is continuing. I told y'all the reporter was going to be with her all day. So he's still with her, whatever his name is. And they're doing a walkthrough and Remy is part of the walkthrough. They got on their hard hats and the reporter reporter picks up on the closeness, the chemistry between Shar and Remy. And he like, you know, well, what's up? What's up? You know, and she's like, oh, you know, he's like, well, I'm here because Ernest was like a father to me. He helped me. He was a mentor. He was wonderful. He was great. He was all powerful. We love Ernest. This is all about Ernest. This is all about honoring his legacy. And the reporter is like, oh, so y'all are like uh, siblings. And um, Charlie is like, yeah, something like that. And I was kind of like, uh, okay, because if y'all really get into something, you don't put out there that y'all are like siblings. That sounds kind of crazy, but it don't mean nothing. But anyway, um, so then we're at the store, um, like, you know, a little corner, a 7-Eleven type store um, with Blue and Ra. And the clerk is like, oh, my God, I lost my job because of you. And then um, Ralph is like, uh, I never saw you before. And then the woman is like, don't lie. And then Ra, he throws the money on the counter and he grabs his stuff and he says to Blue, like his soda or whatever they were getting, let's go. And, um, you know, so it's kind of like when the when the show first started last season, um, he was, wasn't he robbing a store? We had forgot, I forgot, kind of forgotten about that whole thing. Um, then we see Darla and she's trying to multitask. I think she's talking on the phone or doing something and she spills coffee. She got on like a white shirt or a light blue shirt or something. So it's like stained. It's obvious. It's, it's bad. She having a bad day. Then we see Shar and Remy and, um, Remy is like, you didn't mention the divorce and, um, Shar is like, I won't announce it until it's final in a couple of months. And, um, you know, she's like, my friend gave me some advice to slow my roll. And I even saw a therapist. She says more than that. But basically, she let him know, you know, I'm following your advice and let's just chill. It's cool. You know, we don't have it ain't no urgent thing to like be like, I'm divorced and I'm dating you or, you know, we we got plenty to plenty going on. Um, and then Darla um, cop comes in and, you know, Shar sees what's up and she's like, okay, we'll go up to the barracks, um, and get you a change of clothes. And so, you know, then we see Darla in the barracks. I guess that's where she lives. She call it the barracks in the sugar mill, her loft, you know, um, Shar's place. And, um, Micah comes in and he like, oh, she picking out your clothes now too, or something like that. And Darla is like, I spilled coffee. And then um, Micah's like, well, how do I look? You know, and she's tying this tie. And he's like, oh, how did you learn to tie a tie? Now it was, I couldn't really figure out what was supposed to be the dynamic between them. Are they supposed to be attracted to each other? Was she supposed to be being motherly? I couldn't really read it, but it was like, it was something going on there, right? Okay. So then Micah leaves and Darla is like enjoying the clothes. And y'all know Darla is like, oh, she's so like oh, spaced out seeming all the time. But she's like enjoying the clothes and looking around and like, I guess like, wow, you know, I want to be shy. 
Okay, so then we see Shire at her interview with the reporter. And the reporter, again, is this enough? I mean, all you've done is open this sugar mill. It's nothing compared to L.A., basically. And Shire is like, you know, I'm honoring my dad's legacy. And that's everything. What could be more important than that? And this is my story, and I'm sticking to it. Now, I said what I said, and that's what I said. Okay, so then we see Vi and Wood. Oh, that's all I wrote, Vi and Wood. Terrible note-taking, but y'all tell me what happened in that scene. Then we see Darla. She's bringing a huge flower boutique at the at the mill. And um, Shire's like, oh, is it from my mom for not being here? Mention again of the mom. Still hadn't seen the mom. And then she reads the card, and the card says, Welcome to the club, Sam Landry. So it's not from her mama, which is a disappointment. Then it's from the Landry, which is a disappointment, which in a way is kind of a gracious, gracious thing to do. But then it's kind of like a passive aggressive thing to do because they such a, a booty hole. He's not just Sam, but his, I don't want to say his whole family, but the people we done met, the two is it. But anyway, okay. So we see Nova and um, Ra and Prosper and Nova is like, um, you know, daddy was working as a janitor. Um, that's where the check came from. Um, and you live with him and you didn't know. And Prosper is like, well, I knew he was moonlighting, but I didn't know where. And then we see Shar um, talking, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's the ribbon cutting for the mill. And we're going to treat you farmers fair. Unlike the Landry's, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then um, they do this mingle together the fruits of our labor to launch this meal. That was a beautiful little ritualistic moment because they took sugar cane from all the different farmers and they put it in the meal to grind. And Shara's like, let's fire it up. Queen Sugar Mill is in operation. And as soon as it happened, I'm like, is something going to happen? Is it going to be an explosion where the flowers like a sign? But that didn't happen. But anyway, then... um. I thought, um, I thought Rob was going to confess. He came up to, um, Darla and he was talking. I thought he was going to confess about the robbery, but he's like, oh, you working for her now and you wearing her clothes? Talking about his sister, Charlie. And then an alarm goes off and it's like, um, Char is like, oh, and she runs to the back. And, um, you know, they like, you know, Remy and the other people are like, oh, you know, the, the system is choking. It's overwhelmed. This standard operating procedure. And Charlie is like, no, I got a hundred people here. Not today. And she takes off her jacket. And, you know, they like, we just have to, um, you know, remove it manually. And she's like, OK. And she takes off her jacket and she's like digging in the uh, the sugar, um, the sugar cane. It's really pretty, that pale um green color and everything and um darla sees the reporter and the reporter is watching and darla is like this area is off limits and then we see Shar flipping up flipping out it's like escalating and then nova comes up behind her and she just you know touches her and then she like wraps her arms around her and pulls her back she's holding her and um char is like everything has to be perfect for daddy he asked me to come and i was too busy with my life maybe um i could make it right and nova's like girl i don't remember the last time i I talk to daddy or something like that but basically they both kind of i don't know if they both have guilt definitely charlie has guilt i don't know if nova has guilt but you know they both have that same story then we see um micah um to nova and he's like is she okay she just lost it and nova's like well you know this is not just another business it's about you and daddy and all of us and failure is not an option but she did it she's the first black woman in the state of louisiana to have a meal and then, um, the you know, Shar comes back out to the mixing and mingling room and she's got it together. And the reporter is like, are you okay? And she's like, yeah, I'm good. Get a drink. Why don't you have a drink? And he's like, I saw that. Um, and it's on the record. And you are human. And that's what I want to write about. And um, Charlie is like, look, you tell the story of my father and I'll give you an exclusive. Me and Davis are divorcing. Okay, so then we got Darla and Char at the meal um, in the grand opening afterglow. So they finish with the event. The party is, you know, the, the wind down. And um, Darla is like, everyone has been paid. You know, today was good. And Char is like, that choke threw me off. I lost it. And Darla is like, shoot, everyone does. Sometimes it's okay. And Char is like, Shh, you haven't met my mother. And Darla is like, you haven't met my dad. And then Charlie gets, um, 
then Charlie gets a bottle of um, alcohol and two glasses and she's like, let's celebrate. And then she's like, oh, shoot, I forgot. Um, I'm sorry. You want some iced tea? And Darla is like, you know, I'm two years sober. Not sober. And I think she invited um, Charlie to her sober party. And, um, you know, she, Dar, um, Darla is like, thank you so much for this job. You know, this regular schedule really helps, helps with my sobriety. And Char is like, you know, it's a win for us both. Yay. And then we see Nova and she's joined by Vi. And, um, she's, I think they're saying I miss her too. And then, um, I don't, I guess it's somebody else. I think they said her, but anyway, and then um, we see the family, Nova, Char, Char, Micah, Vi, Wood, Darla, Rob, Lou, and they're at a ceremony for Ernest. I think it's the stone and Nova speaks. You know, we're here, the family, it's a beautiful speech. And then we're at the house, and um, this is after Ernest's ceremony, and Blue is hiding, and Ra Ra is like, hey, and Blue is like, you know, this isn't Kenya. Um, do you know where she went? And Ra is like, you know, Kenya got thrown away. And Blue is like, did she do something wrong? Did I do something wrong? And Ra is like, no, no, it's just a mistake. And Blue is like, why did the lady at the store call you a, a liar? And Ra is like, I ain't lying no more. And then we're at the table, the dinner table, after the ceremony for Ernest or whatever. And Vi is like, Ra, you want to say grace? And Ra is like, no, nah, I'm good. And then Nova is like, Ra. And then Ra starts to pray you know, and blah, 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 blah. And I could tell, talking about his father, that he wanted me to be a better man every time he looked at me. And that's what I'm going to do now. I ain't been telling y'all the truth. I thought, again, I thought he was going to tell him about the robbery. But um, Bai is like, looks up and she's like, finish grace. And um, Ra is like, there's another part of the wheel. He left the farm to me, just me. Because he said I needed it the most. And then Vi is like, um, Micah, take Blue outside. And then Char, Char is like, Vi, you knew I uprooted my life. Um, you know what I did to get that meal? And then Darla is like, it's not like that. And then Char is like, you knew too? And then Nova is like, um, Dad worked himself into the ground for you to put you in blue and food and clothes, working as a janitor. And Char is like, what? And Ra is like, um, you in L.A. living large, um, you know, 200 miles away or 2 million miles away or 2,000 miles away. And um, you never visited. And Nova's like, how you know? He, she, he said to Nova, and you never visited either. You 20 miles away and you never visited. Oh, you in L.A. living large, Char. And Nova, you 20 miles away and never visited. And um, Char is, I mean, um, Nova's like, well, how the hell you know? Because your ass was in jail most of the time. Um, and then Char and Nova go to leave. And I heard that he said something about how she's helping all the brothers, but not helping her brother. And then, um, Char and Nova go to leave and Vi stands between them and the door. And she's like, you are not leaving. We are staying here until we settle this mess. And that was the end of the episode. Thank you for clicking and sticking around for my recap review commentary on Queen Sugar. Again, I'm Angela. The channel is Be Fabulous You. Like, thumbs up. Um, subscribe, uh, hit the notifications bell. We're working on 150 subscribers. Um, comment down below. What did I miss? And be you. Be fabulous. Be fabulous. You. Peace.